Welcome back to the Joust About Careers podcast, where you can learn about careers from the people who are actually in the trenches every day. I'm your host, Brian Brott, and this week's highlights feature Amanda Cushow, a 2010 Van Buren graduate who is a new model delivery project manager with Honda Manufacturing of Indiana. The highlights focus on what Amanda does in new model delivery, how she's using her graduate degree in her career, characteristics of people who are successful in her position, and much more. If you want to learn more about Amanda's career journey, you can always watch or listen to her full interview. And if you find this podcast useful, please share it with someone else who could benefit from it. Enjoy the highlights, and I'll see you back here in the new year for a brand new episode. So my role is twofold. I am both a buyer and a project manager. So I will order parts for prototype events um, that happen multiple times throughout a year. Um, Each one is separate for the different vehicle model. And this includes models that haven't hit the market yet and the new versions of models that are on the market. And then projects involve um, different things. I manage our costs. So all new model cost related items all items related to our EDI, which is our system that transmits orders from one to another. So getting those set up and uh, ensuring those are set up. I also manage our Japan supply orders for our plant new model. So that involves ordering those from Japan, um, working with our OSL, which is one of our um, shipping and receiving to get those from Japan and then to the correct supplier from there or to our AF delivery. Right now we have two large projects we're working on, Um, but we also recently, so I work out of the Indiana plant, but I also took on responsibility for the Alabama plant, which adds probably five more models to my mix. Okay. So each plant has models that it's assigned and those then are your focus because you're at those plants. Yes. Okay. The one I work at, so it's really interesting because when I started, there's probably 14 of us and now there's five. Okay. We've gone through a lot of restructuring. So it took, I had probably double the task responsibilities, but half the supply base. And now I have double the supply base and half the task <laughs> responsibilities. But um, I work with a really great team of people and we collaborate really well, which helps a lot. And then I, I don't know the exact number at Ohio. But I know Alabama has maybe seven or so people okay. in the same okay. position. I'd say pre-pandemic, I traveled 30%. Um, it's getting back up to that now. I was just gone all of last week, different places in Ohio. Um, I haven't been lucky enough to travel internationally, but a lot of people I work with have Um I've gone all over the Midwest into then into the South in Alabama, Southern Tennessee. Okay. Um, there's a lot of automakers in this area, a lot of parts makers. My role currently is hybrid. So it's three days in the office, two days at home. And then, so, but our traveling days or PTO days are count, counted as in office days. So it's really nice and flexible. They have a really excellent business program that gets you out meeting with the people that you're going to be working with. And even as a graduate student, I was able to do a couple different internships and meet a lot of different people. They give you so many opportunities to network and they teach you to do that. And I think that has been the most valuable thing to me. Bowling Green has a career fair, I think twice a year in the fall and in the spring. And so I talked to Honda that fall. Um, I wasn't graduating yet, so they put you into a system. I have since been the recruiter on the other side of this. And then that gets, I think it flags when you're closer to your graduation date. So I had actually accepted a position from one of my internships that I was working at after graduation when I got my call from Honda. I feel like you have to be 
at least somewhat outgoing, at least in your work life. Um, you need to be good with people. Um, it doesn't hurt to be good with numbers, but I was never earlier. And you can learn that. Um, being able to adapt to new technologies and new systems. Um, Honda's systems are all proprietary and they're always changing. And you have to be creative and strategic, especially when issues come up where you need parts and they're telling you they're not gonna be there. My, I go to is IT. Somebody who is like really good in with like macros and coding. Okay. That's always useful. Okay. So probably not only at the corporate level of just all of that for the Honda company, but then I'm assuming individual cars, they need people to write codes for the computers and the cars and in all of that as well. Would that be accurate? So that would take place at like the supplier who sells the software. Oh, okay. Okay. But so a lot of like internal systems that use and need, and then a lot of like line critical issues that need people who can troubleshoot them. Okay. And I'm guessing you have some robots that have to be coded uh, with assembly yeah. and, and so forth. Okay. Okay. So anything computer wise makes sense uh, is going to be in high demand both oh. now and in the future. And accounting. Okay. Okay. Um, and that's any, any reason why that, is something you think will be in demand or it's just the the buying and selling of vehicles? I mean, it just seems like something where you always need it, but there's not necessarily a high influx of it right now. Keep an open mind is number one, but also like find something where you are, you feel happy or at least doing it brings you peace and it brings you balance. Don't put yourself in a box and focus in only on one idea of who or what you can be. Thank you for making the Joust About Careers podcast part of your day. I hope you learned valuable information from this career story. And to be sure you don't miss upcoming episodes, please click subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast platform so you'll know when the next episode is released. Thank you for spending a portion of your day with me. And as always, come back next week to learn even more just about careers.